another video which was recorded on the 3rd of May 2020 and this was during quarantine where only 10 persons were allowed to assemble. The glory, just give him the honor, just forget about yourself, just concentrate on him, take your eyes off this pandemic and look to Jehovah God. So many times, your child or your children may not know why you are angry at them. Maybe something that they have done willfully or not knowing. But the anger of the Lord was against David. I want to read about it this morning. 24. Yeah, 2 Samuel chapter 24. You just want to do your own thing. You just want to have your way. And you go ahead. Oh, I can do this because I have the authority and I have the power. And you go ahead and you do it. You might not be conscious that it is not right or it's not pleasing. When I say to God, but those around you, who you work for, maybe your parents, when you go ahead and do it anyway because it feels good to you and it will suit you. And you say, it's okay, nothing wrong with me knowing this or, or exploring this. But by the end of the day, it is not right. And because it's not right, there is a consequences to it. David, being a king, have the authority to say, go do this. But there was someone on the other hand said, why do you want to do this? Why do you want to do this? God is in control of his people. He adds to them as it pleases him. And you can see them, they are numberable. They are before you. They listen to you. They come to you. What more do you want? But the words of the king prevail against the servant. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against David. But the thing that struck me is when David looked and see that the people were dying. 70,000 men. And David said, Lord, God, I have sinned. David, a man always hold up to eating, you know. David, a pipe, no finger upon nobody, you know. Amen. I have sinned. I have done wickedly. What do these sheep? They don't do no harm. And me send go number them, God. Let this thing fall upon me and my family. Amen. He take responsibility for his action. Mm -hmm. And that is what God wants us to do. Take responsibility for our action. Amen. Look in ourselves, see where we have gone wrong. Hold up to our wrong. Mm -hmm. And that's the way God will work. Mm -hmm. But don't stay one side. Oh, me not do nothing. Me alright. Then can't stay there. But because I was angry, my father is to them. Mm -hmm. What have we done? What have we done? We can't see ourselves, you know. Because we say, while the mold, the mold is in the brother's eye, and I have this beam in my mind. My mind won't blind me. Saint Matthew said, tells us about that. We take time out to see the mold, just a small speck in your eye, but I can't see the one in mine. Amen. But we need to examine ourselves before a holy and righteous God, a God who will see us right through. But God said, you want to run before your enemy? You want this to happen? You want that to happen? Three things. But David, in his wisdom, said, we prefer to fall in the hand of God than to fall in the hand of man. God, God will have mercy. But man will pardon. Man will cure. Baby. Pan suckling. Baby in a belly. Woman. Man will pardon. But God will have mercy. And this is the God that we are crying out to today, knowing that He will have mercy if we truly acknowledge, if we truly, as David said, I have, we have, as a nation, as a land, as a family, as a church, we have, as a community, we have, because somewhere along the line we have done wrong, we have done folly. Because as a church, and if one member sin, he falls upon the one of you. 
So justice is to the community. So we have. So we have to own it up. Let us look to God today. When Nehemiah was praying to God, he said, God, I have sinned. My father also has sinned. We have sinned. We have sinned. Nehemiah, I'm in a comfort zone of eating at work. Things are not going good for Nehemiah. But when the state come to Nehemiah, what is happening, just like what is happening around us, the numbers are climbing. People are crying out. People are dying. You turn one side and say, oh, we don't do nothing. Me all right. I have sinned. My father all sinned. We have sinned. We sin as a nation. We sin as a land. God has been so good to Jamaica. God has blessed this little country so much. They say it's a dot on the map. But God has blessed us. When we hear when we rise up all over. God make us to be seen. The king will going to come out victorious. I know we have ourselves. It's God. It's God mark upon us. That we are his children. Just like back then, Israel, the chosen nation. But not everybody in Israel chose to walk with God. Although it was God's chosen nation, although they were Israelites, it's not everyone chose to walk with God. But we are here today to look into ourselves and to get back to where we ought to be with the Lord and ask him to have mercy because he will have mercy and he will abundantly pardon. Let me praise the Lord. Let me hear you worship the Lord. One of the things we want to pray for is wisdom as we go through this pandemic because some of us are all over the place. Some of us are here. I listen to some prophets and some people who now bring true words. So if we, we get we confused and we want to do this and we want to do that and say, so well, actually, you know, if, 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 if God has to me and if God has me a sir, do this back then, you know, can I do this now? I want to pray as God will help us to call. Some of us can't cope. Some people are not coping in this time. We don't know what the experiences are like. And I'm talking about Christians and non-Christians. Because if the non-Christians are not coping, they won't look to God. But when they're able to cope and know, say yes, then we draw closer and say, yes, man of God. A God, man of God. But when they now put them in those hope, they will lose faith. They will give up and say, this is it. No God, no day. God, no real. But we want to hope in this time. We want to hope as we go through the children of Israel when they was in Egypt. I mean, when, when Moses showed, he buried get harder, but they didn't have hope. Mm -hmm. You think they didn't have hope, they don't like it. He buried get harder, him. They used to get straw, no, they must be made. Whatever they used to, to, to get. He broke off, they said, go make it for a scratch. Then I get the material. Then I get the material. Go find the material and go make it for a scratch. He get harder, but they were coping. I don't want them to come out, you know, because it's like we were rebellious. They go back. They were coping. And in that coping, God was with them. Because God has a set time when he was going to deliver them. They didn't know the time. They didn't know the day. But there was a set time appointed. We pray that God will help us to cope. That's when this pandemic is over. We can rest assured. We have our testimony. Through it all, I've learned to depend on Jesus. Through it all, I've learned to trust in Him. Yes. 
And we want to pray that the work of God will continue. And it is important, you know, can you have churches, some shut down completely, which we don't have to, but we have to use wisdom. You understand? There are some closed doors. And the committee are looking and say, but if the church really shut them door, Joe, we can have 10 gathering and then have none at all. Ain't something wrong. You understand? Let who want to come, come. But we pray that the work of God will continue. And we will see it fit to say, yes, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. We're going to gather. We're going to sing. If it's just one song, we're all going to sing. And if God says, sing it ten times, we're going to sing it ten times. Because God have a plan. Let me praise the Lord. Let me worship the Lord. Call him by his name. Call that name. Shout thank you, Jesus. Shout He's worthy to be lifted up and he's worthy to be magnified. And today we're giving God thanks. And if you're here, you want to share experience or you want to share what you're doing in your corner in this time, we love to hear, you know, we love to hear what is happening in your life and how are you coping and what are some of the things that you're doing that others can hear and maybe can help. And we, it can be benefited to us. Let me praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Since you know the Lord is keeping you, what are you worrying about? Since you know the Lord is keeping you, why won't you sing? I 